Hi again, Hiram here. Going to do a boil test using the alcohol wick stove that I made. I have some alcohol setting in there now. It's not a measured amount, I just put alcohol in it. But again, to show you that with it has that aluminum gutter guard on the top of fiberglass insulation. And one of the nice things about a wick stove like this is if you have the alcohol in here, you can tip it without having to worry about dumping out the alcohol. If it was just in the tin, as soon as you do that, would have had alcohol cascading out all over the place. So, oh, I've also had asks for looking into the stove. I don't know if you can see it. Let me open this. It's basically an outside shell, heavy gauge, with inner rings that are full of holes. This center part is supported by four supports. This has all holes in it. I don't know if there's anything inside that. This ring is another tube with full of holes. If you look at it from underneath, it has some sort of asbestos in it. This might be asbestos to push up against the can to form a seal so that all the flames go up through the middle of the can. But there you can see it's getting a little sooted from the alcohol and stuff. And I have some bids in for other cans so I can take them apart so we can see the individual pieces. On this piece, this is a spring to push the fuel can up against this ring, the ceiling ring. And that's where this Lifesaver can looks like it's exactly the same size as what their fuel can was. And then we have the snuffer piece. And there was another piece that I think fit over top of the fuel can to seal it off. I have two cups of water here at about 61 degrees. And let's see what this test does. Start the flame. Snap it shut. Turn off the lights. Let the alcohol build up a flame. It's not quite as fast this time with this stove. There we go. Okay, we have some flame coming out of the top and here I have my two cups of water at well now it's reading 60 degrees put that on the burner and since there's not really much of any flames to see here I'm gonna cut away and come back when this is done boiling or started to boil Two ten, two eleven, two twelve. At four minutes fifty nine seconds, I have a rolling boil. Let's wait. Let's let that go for another minute, so we have safe drinking water. Now, one thing I've noticed with this stove and the alcohol. This gives off much more fumes. I guess the heat makes it generate uh, fumes, much more vapors. Wow, I really got to get some air in here. Uh, <clears throat> that this is really got a lot of smell of alcohol in here right now. So I have to check back on my temp on my times, but it looks like this is much faster. I don't have my notes here. Okay, there we got five minutes, almost six minutes. Now, if this is filtered water, this should be safe to drink. All you got to do is take it off the fire, let it cool off, and you can drink it. Now, look at that, a much bigger flame. Is that from the being in the wick stove now?
I'm going to lift the camera. Excuse me. I'm going to lift the camera so you can see down in. See how red it gets? All the holes in that can. Okay, so there's the Vulcan stove using a wick stove, a wick alcohol stove, with a boil time of almost five minutes, just short of five minutes. Let me see if I can snuff this thing out. Don't kill myself. See, that's the other thing about a wick stove. You don't have to worry about it pouring out the alcohol. Okay, I must have a curve on that fiberglass that's preventing it from snuffing out. There we go. This must have, with the heat, must have boiled up a little bit. So it kept me from snuffing it out sealed. I'll have to make sure I push that back down. So that's the uh, boil test. So thanks for watching. I look forward to any input I might get, suggestions, and watch for Max the Dawn. Bye now.